Hello guys, this is Ansab and you are watching Nerdy Ansab YouTube channel. So this is our fourth video on XAMPP course on Windows. So in this video, I will tell you how to install WordPress on your XAMPP uh, web server. So uh, if you if you want to see how you can install with SSL, then you need to watch third video of this course. And if you want to see how you can change uh, your XAMPP 127.0.0.1 to a uh, domain name then you need to see second video of this course the reason that I didn't make uh, these th all three topics in one video because it will make uh, a bit long video and uh, I think to categorize this uh, uh, topics into different video is the good thing so that user can watch according to their choice so for this course you need to watch at least second video or if you want also SSL support so you need to watch third video so let's start this video so for this first uh, go to your web browser and on google type uh, wordpress and from this official website go to this official website wordpress.org <coughs> and there uh, you can see download wordpress version 4.9.6 so whatever version is available you can download it from there and then just save it is a small file so i have already downloaded it just dismiss and now just go to your downloaded folder so if you haven't changed it it is probably your download folder and this is, I think extract all okay and extract this zip file okay so it will take some time until then we make uh, a new account in our mysql web server or database so just open xamp as administrator control and after opening start apache web server so it is already started so i have stopped it so start your apache web server and also start your mysql service so now go to your web browser and type your localhost ip Okay. and here it will be your XAMPP page home page and now you need to go to your PHP my admin so here it will show error object not found because in our first video we have changed PHP my admin to secure URL so if you have followed my first video so here you need to write URL secure URL and now it will take to PHP my admin login page so now login okay now uh, and wait for it and now go to user accounts and now create a new user for your wordpress account <coughs> so wordpress u s r wordpress user and host name to localhost and password type password one two three four five for example okay and now click on create database with same name so it will create database with name WP USR and now grant all privileges okay and now go so you have added new user and also we have added new database with name WP USR ok 
okay now go to your downloaded folders and you can see here our wordpress files are extracted and its size is now 25.2 mb so just copy all the files in this folder now go to your xamp installation directory stdocs so or if you are new to this video and you don't want to watch your first two videos so you can also create new folder with name wp and paste these files here or if you are continuing from my another video so you can go this nerdy and sub you know when we have created this folder nerdy, nerdy and sub dot tk domain project domain and remove this index file okay and don't remove this htss file and just control plus v okay so just go to your web browser and type nerdyunsub.tk or if you are new to this um, video just type 127.0.0.1 slash wp <coughs> wait for it and you can see here so now you can see it is asking for installation so now this is same for both 127.0.0.wp and slash nerdyunsub.tk so I'm closing this step now all the steps are same just select your language from here continue and let's go so database name was wp usr and username of our mysql database was wp usr and type password which we have created there for five and database host localhost and don't change this table prefix and just submit and run the installation so it will take some time it will create all the files okay so here you can enter your site titles like an erdy a n s a p nerdian sub username so remember this username you will need this username and password to log into your wordpress so if you forget your password i will make another video on that also and i will add a link of just of that video in description after the upload of that video so just type username here and as a p unsub and now you can type some password so just one two three four five and confirm use of weak, weak password okay and you can also type your email address so and search engine visibility discourage so it is not on internet so this will mm, doesn't matter so this doesn't matter okay now install wordpress or just enter your email also okay now install wordpress okay so username is answer when you choose an password so what we have created now just login and so you are ready to go so just enter your username answer and password is one two three four five and login or you can also remember me to save password just login never okay <coughs> just wait for a few seconds okay now you can see our wordpress is up and running so here it is saying to update to a new version so this is your wordpress uh, wordpress dashboard so now from here you can start your wordpress and if somehow you forget the password of wordpress so i am mm, i will be making a new video on that also how to reset wordpress password 
by using send mail and without using send mail also so in next video i will tell you how you can configure your xamp localhost to, to send mails so that you can send emails to anyone from just your localhost okay bye thank you for watching this video so if you like this video then please uh, give a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and subscribe my youtube channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so bye see you in next video